Hey, good evening, everybody. Sammy Thunder here. Back again tonight with another video. Uh, in tonight's video, uh, I wanted to show you the two T206 Hall of Fame cards that I picked up at one of my uh, favorite shops to visit called American Legends. I'll get into that in a second. Um, tonight, we're also going to open up some more junk wax. I figure tonight is uh, for, the, you know, for the remainder of the year. I'll try to do a video every night to on the hunt for more Jordans and on the hunt for that 87 Barry Bonds rookie card, as well as an assortment of other rookie cards we'll, maybe we'll find. Uh, so we'll do that tonight after I unveil these new uh, collection pieces. Um, the second thing, as you can see on the left, I have some team bags filled with some cards. I think some of you all know that I am doing two giveaways right now. One that's going to be ending tomorrow, and the other one is going to be ending when I hit around the 250 subscriber mark, which we're getting there, by the way. And I really appreciate the new subs that have come along board, left some great comments, have kind of scoured around through the, uh, the, the channel, and I really enjoy the fact that you're taking away a lot from it. So thank you again so much for taking a, ch taking a chance with me. And um, if you enjoy vintage, I'm glad you're along for the ride. Uh, so the giveaways, as you know, the first one I'm doing is the uh, two uh, team bags of the 1970s cards, Hall of Famers and Superstars, as you can see. Uh, so one bag is going to be early 70s, the other bag is going to be late 70s. And um, I'll put a video, uh, I'll link the video right now in the upper right corner. You can click on it now or you can wait to the end. And um, all you have to do, make sure you're subscribed to the channel, most important thing. So make sure you're subscribed for future videos and for this giveaway. Uh, and the other thing is when you, go to the, when you go to that giveaway video, leave a comment talking about your favorite 70s baseball player and why they're your favorite. And you're entered into that uh, giveaway. So this one is for the 250 subscriber giveaway that's going to be happening, um, let's see, probably, yeah, it's going to get close. So we're getting there. We're about 236 right now, so we're 14 subs away. If you know anybody that likes vintage, let them know. And they can also enter the giveaway too. So that is one giveaway. This is the one that's going to be ending tomorrow. Um, I'll this will this video will be featured at the end. So you got on the end cards of this video, you can click on it and watch that watch that video after this one. Uh, this one is a little more straightforward. Um, I'm gonna be I have three cards in here. So if you're new to the channel, again subscribe. That's one of the one of the things you have to do. Um, but. I'm going to pick one of these three cards, Harold Baines Rookie from Topps 81. Here's a Harmon Killebrew from the 75, his last card. And the Carly Ostromsky 78 card. So I'm going to be picking one of these cards uh, for, the, uh, for the giveaway. And um, it's going to be at random. And for this contest, just make sure you're subbed. And uh, just leave a comment on the video that's going to be linked at the end. It's going to be um, the... Uh, the Weekly Vintage, that's the new name I'm giving it. So the Weekly Vintage, it's going to be these three cards. One of the three are going to get picked randomly, and whoever wins, wins. That's We're going to be doing this every week now. I think it's a little fun activity. It kind of leaves a little bit of mystery. So those are the giveaways. So check them out at the end of this video. I'll have it featured so you can be able to investigate that. And as I said again, we're going to open the junk wax in a bit. Um, but the first and foremost... Uh, I went ahead and took the advice of a veteran collector who I have purchased from before. Um, he's told me a number of times, always, 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 if you're going to build a set or try to build a set, go after the big names first because they're the ones that are going to go up in price over time. And that's the advice. I, I took that advice and I went after the big names. So I got these cards um, at American Legends. It's a card shop in Yonkers. And um, been there a number of times. I generally don't buy graded cards, but because these two Hall of Famer cards are not really for sale in raw condition, I wound up uh, paying the price that I paid for these. I think they're pretty fair based on the sold eBay listings that I've sold in the past. So the first card I'm going to show you is the Hall of Famer. We have Tris Speaker in an SGC case. Uh, this was uh, rated A1 in poor condition. Granted, you know, the this card does have creases, soft corners all around, uh, but it still has the beautiful blue background and the, and the Boston American slash Red Sox colors really show here. I think it's in great shape, in my opinion, based on the condition. 
Um, this it was a very, very nice card. Um, has an interesting story to it. I asked the seller if they knew exactly about um, anything about the signature. Let me go this way so you yeah, can see it better. Looks like Mrs. Y.H. Williams or something. But very cool, very cool card. Um, I don't mind the signature on the back. Kind of adds to, adds to the uh, the mystery of this card, and how it's kind of come a, come about. You know, it this is a what is a hundred and ten year old card. So very very beautiful. Tris Speaker. I think this is his rookie card, if I'm not mistaken. It classifies as his rookie. So that is one card that I purchased. I was only going in planning on buying one card, but the deal was right. The uh, financially, I sold about a little over a thousand dollars worth of cards um, as of late. So I was able to take a lot of the profits that I've earned, as well as a little bit of uh, my own money, and buy these two cards. The second one is uh, the Napoleon Nap Lajoie, uh T two O six Polar Bear with Bat. Sorry, my thing keeps freezing, so I'll try to make sure we get a good shot of him here. This is one of my favorites now, um, because just the, I love the look of this card. I love the job that they did. Uh, you could see the kind of like the picket fence behind um, in the background. Love the gradients and the sunset. Uh, just a beautiful card all around. I thought this was in very beautiful, great centering on this. Um, PSA rated this a one. I can understand, but the, there are some uh, creases. And it looks like tobacco stains, if I had to guess. Um, but very nice card. Polar bear on the back. Uh, very good shape as well. Um, everything is still nicely uh, designed. And um, the the appeal, the eye appeal to me, is looks very beautiful. So these paid a pretty penny for both. Um, but it's a nice end of the year purchase to add to the T206 Hall of Fame collection that I have. This marks a total of four Hall of Famers. Let me get that glare out of the way. Four Hall of Fame total players that I have. Um, so it's now the Matthewson with the white cap, uh, Sam Crawford with the bat um, along his shoulders, and we now have the Trish Speaker, the uh, um, the blue background. I think that's a well the established Trish Speaker card. And then the uh, the Nap Lajoie. Um, not his portrait, but Still, a highly desirable card, and um, these will be in my collection for going forward. So, really, really enjoy them. Um, I guess, you know, uh, let me know which one you like more. I mean, I, it's hard for me to pick one. Uh, I think I like Nap Lajoie more, just because of the eye appeal, but they're both beautiful cards. So, leave them right here. Actually, I'm going to put them back, because we'll need some space for the junk wax. And finally... We'll do the Junk Wax, we'll do the quest for more Jordans, the quest for Barry Bonds. I haven't picked the Barry Bonds yet. I picked up a Jordan last night, so that's pretty cool. Uh, maybe we'll find one in a different pack tonight. And uh, so, as always, we're going to start with the 88. Let's see if I can separate these nicely here. So we'll start with the 88 and kind of go back and forth. That's usually how I do it. Gum is there. All right, and leading us off tonight, we have Steve Lumberdozy, uh, Benny Santiago. He's a star back in the day. We've got Dwayne Murphy looking for, I believe, Tom Glavin's rookie card. Phil Garner, Guy Hoffman, We've got Jerry Brown, We've got B.J. Reynolds. We'll flip these around now. Ken Landro. Luis Aguayo. Jim Clancy. Phil Bradley. Mickey Tettleton. Jerry Don Gleaton. Mike Greenwell, Rookie Cup. And Jeff Hamilton, very empty pack on the first one. But for whatever reason, the 88s have always been, you know, kind of a, a little disappointing. Um, so let's uh, we'll leave the commons right here. So we can just kind of stack them up as we go. All right, so go moving on to the skybox. Please remember to open up this way. Leading us off, 
Delaney Rudd, Sam Bowie, uh, Johnny Dawkins, there's Hall of Famer, Ralph Sampson, got John Morton, there we go, picked up a Larry Bird yesterday, pick up a Larry Bird today, beautiful Larry Bird off center, but um, ball on fire, kind of like NBA Jam style. Larry Bird late in his career. Nice card there. Put that in my Larry Bird stack. Got a... Uh, hold on one second. I'm going to see if I can just increase... I want to increase the intensity of the lighting so it's a little better. I felt like it was a little too dim. Let me adjust this side as well. That should be a little better. I feel like it was a little too dim. Uh, Craig Elo. There's Brian Shaw. Mark Aguirre. Uh, Olden Polynice. Tim Tolbert. Theodore Edwards. And yeah, the Chief, Robert Parrish, another one of the, uh, the big three from the 80s. So finding a bird and now finding a Chief. Got Ed Neely and Dave Corzine. That's a nice break there. Some key cards. Larry Bird is obviously a big collector. Uh, big, uh, car I'm a big Larry Bird fan, so I love collecting his cards whenever they come up. Um, so we'll open up the 89 next. Leading us off, we got Terry uh, Terry Francona. That's a sweet card. The Robin Ventura rookie card. This used to go for quite a bit back in the day. Not worth much now, but the number one draft pick cards always look cool to me. I don't know why. The 89 draft picks, they just always look cool. So I'm going to put that in here because I think it's just, you know, people like people like the rookie cards of like Robin Ventura, who was, a, who was a good player. Not a Hall of Famer, but a very good player. Juan Agosto. Here's a Hall of Famer. Burt Belylevin. Oh, Burt Bly 11. My coworker and I had a, had a long discussion about Burt Bly 11. And, uh, good, you know, good pitcher, Hall of Famer, maybe, maybe not. Keep a little Pena. Joe, uh, Joe McGrain. Got Drew Hall. Got Rex Hudler in the Expos. Jeff Russell. There is the Rocket, Roger Clemens. ODB McDowell. Mackie Sasser had trouble throwing back to the pitcher. Ernie Witt, Jack Howell, and Fred Lynn. Towards good career for Fred Lynn. So, a couple packs down. We'll move to the Fleer 91. This is where we found the Jordan last night. So we'll see what we find tonight. Uh, I don't anticipate finding another Jordan. That'd be pretty amazing if we did, but I don't anticipate finding a back-to-back -back packs in here. But we do find a David Robinson off the bat. This is his uh, second year, I believe, or third year card. So that's a nice one. We got uh, Darnell Valentine. Tom Chambers. And, oh, wow, league leaders David Robinson. It's usually uncommon to find both of them in the same pack, but that's pretty sweet. Very nice. Brian Oliver. Dan Shays. Chris Jackson. Kevin Gamble. Wayman Tisdale. Ah, th Dan Marley, three-point expert. When three-pointers were not cool yet, but Dan Marley made them cool. Kevin Edwards. Ah, Del Curry, Steph Curry's uh, father, as well as, what was his brother's name? I feel like, oh man, I should know this, but I can't remember if it was Steph Curry's brother. They're both in the NBA, I know that much. And Dominique's brother, Gerald Wilkins. So, not bad with two David Robinsons there. And now we're going to move on to the quest of the Barry Bonds in the 87. Let's hope, let's hope we find it tonight. Tonight is hopefully the night we find it, but we do have the rest of the year. To hopefully find a Barry Bonds. So leading us off tonight, got Gary Reedus, Brian Downing, Gary Templeton,
speedster, Otis Nixon. Ken Herbeck. Rookie Cup of Danny Hartable, one of my favorite players growing up. The Indians leaders card. Tom Hume. Tippy Martinez. T.R. Bryden. Dale Mohork. Mohorkic. Richard Dotson. Omar Moreno. Here's Mike Sosha. Hall of Famer Lee Smith. That's a nice one. Reggie Williams. And Dave Von Olin. The quest for bonds comes to a halt for tonight. But we still have some packs left over for us to explore. So we'll do the NBA Hoops. 1990. Maybe we'll find the Jordan in here. have yet to find one. I do have them, just not from pack breaks. And we'll, maybe we'll find some cool ones tonight. Got Brian Shaw. All-star Mark Eaton. Kelly Trapuca. Bill Wennington. Uh, Jeff Hornacek. I remember him with the Jazz mostly. Eddie Johnson. James Edwards. Antoine Carr. Paul McKeskey. Uh, Robert Reed, very underrated when he was with the Rockets. Rory Sparrow. AC Green All-Star card. Tom Garrick. Larry Brown and Orlando Woolridge. So no big names, no real significant names in there. We'll finish off our baseball at the 86. Let's see who we find there. Maybe Pete Rose, maybe a Clemens second year. Barry Bonds would be in the tops traded, so he wouldn't be in this set, but... Let's see who we find. Leading us off, we got George Wright looking very suspicious, like his, his teammates are up to no good. Greg Gross. Ah, very cool. From the championship Mets that year, Gary Carter. Sweet card of him. Got Rick Roden. And another championship card of Wally Bachman. Wally Bachman. Yvonne Calderon, which we have a stuck card behind him. Who's the mystery here? Rafael Ramirez. Yvonne de Jesus. Mario Ramirez. Tony Armas. Greg Booker, Rod Scurry, Jeff Reardon, Terrell Thomas, and Steve Braun. Pretty quiet pack aside from the Gary Carter. And we'll finish it off tonight with the NBA Hoops 89 as per tradition when we do these breaks. Let's see if we find the Jordan in here tonight. But we lead us off with another bull from that time period, time period. Uh, John Paxson. Three-point specialist, Dale Ellis. Could never get past Larry Bird in the three-point shooting contest, though. Richard Anderson. Sidney Lowe. Kiki Vandeway. Here, all-star Mark Price. He was he was pretty good, you know. Just he came at the he came at a time when John Stockton, Magic Johnson, Isaiah Thomas, were just dominating um, as point guards. But Mark Price should get more credit. He was a great foul shooter. He was a great facilitator. Um, I don't think he gets his due justice. Byron Scott, Randy Whit uh, Whitman, Steve Coulter. Here's an all-star, James Worthy and Hall of Famer. Jim Farmer. Stuart Gray. Ooh, I thought it was... <laughs> had me for a minute. I saw Michael, and it was a red card, but it's the coach, Mike Fratello, from the Atlanta Hawks. Hall of Famer, Joe Dumars. Talk about another great uh, shooting guard. And Tom Garrick. So the quest for Jordans comes up empty, but we did come away with some great stuff tonight. Um, recap, Joe Dumars, James Worthy, 
Great looking Gary Carter. Great Lee Smith. David Robinson. Got a. Whoop, camera needs to catch up for a minute. Got Roger Clemens. Bert Blylevin. Robin Ventura. The Chief, Robert Parrish. And probably my favorite of the bunch, Larry Bird. And Ralph Sampson. So, not a bad takeaway. I think yesterday's was a little bit better, obviously, with the Jordan card and the David Robinson rookie. Kind of stole the show. But still, you know, always fun to break through these. I think y'all seem to be enjoying it. So, um, I'm going to try to do, you know, pack break, pack breaks every night till the, uh, till the new year. I think it would be a little fun thing to do. Um, but I... Before I go, just make sure y'all come back tomorrow. I'm going to be doing the giveaway for one of these three. So, um, at some point, probably in the early afternoon, I'll announce the winner. We'll announce the card. We'll do all three. We'll do, uh, we'll do both things. And, um, yeah, I'll leave a link uh, at the end of this video. There's going to be, like, a, on the end cards. You can choose to watch the 250 subscriber giveaway, or you can choose to watch this one. So... Your choice. Um, you can watch both. I appreciate that. But don't forget to subscribe, y'all. Uh, to enter these uh, giveaways, just make sure you're subscribed to the channel so you're engaged. And uh, we'll definitely go from there. Thanks so much for stopping by tonight. Have a safe and great holiday. Take care. <laughs>